The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to have as our guest today at the half hour, Jim Bartoleone, the one of the F-16 uh, pilots that, whoops, let's try that again, Bubba. F-18 pilots that uh, I've been able to train over the years, but he's a very dear friend, been doing this a long time. I can't even remember. I think it's close to 20 years now. I could tell you because his son is sick. It's got to be at least 16. Because JJ 16 now. Uh, let's take a look here, folks. Uh, today is the what we call the Hunter's Moon. There's two moons in Oct two full moons in October. Uh, the first one, of course, is the seventh, which was the Harvest Moon. We're going to go through that, and then we also have this one, which is the Hunter's Moon. These are so important, folks. That these are the I understand that they're the only two that have astrological names like Hunter's Moon and uh, Harvest Moon, as opposed to the other full moons. I'm not sure of that, but I, I was told that. I'm not sure if that uh, the source was good, but Jerome, I think you were right, so we'll just leave it at that. Okay, let's uh, move on to a couple things here, folks. Uh, we have a Bitcoin is going nuts, as everybody's talking about. Let's just take a quick look here at the Bitcoin that we were looking at yesterday. If you'll remember, folks, uh, we, we were watching Bitcoin make this very large ABCD down here. Now, this is, uh, this is both a futures – this is the ETF. Now, I'm – uh, Rich Anderson will be our guest tomorrow to just, to tell us what's going on with this futures thing because BITO is the ETF number, but that's not a that's not the futures, folks. I don't know how it can be the futures because the future has to be a actual contract month. I don't know how that works, but we're watching what the pattern is doing. You know, that's primarily what what I'm trying to show you, folks. Here is how these things actually move when they move with the patterns, and I, I wanted to uh, bring to your attention that's what we're paying attention to. As we as we look at this today, and now as I look at this, I can't find the darn thing that I actually posted. Shut the front door and raise the rent. I don't. Oh, here it is. I think that is this it. Nope. That was crude oil. All right, let's move on to the next one. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay, let's. Uh, we're going to uh, talk just a tiny bit here uh, about uh, two things today that I want to cover. Uh, we'll have uh, Jim as our guest, of course, in the half hour. But let's go back in time, folks. This is the uh, this is the uh, S and P back in in 2007 in October uh, of 2007. You'll notice here we had it a full the new moon up there. Uh, that was the harvest moon. At that time, you can see we were making three drive to a top pattern. We're probably doing some type of a – because we've made new highs in the New York Stock Exchange Index, folks. I mean, that was even before we made new highs uh, in the S&P, the NASDAQ, and the Dow, which we have not as of yet. But we have done it in there. So we really, really – really need to pay attention to this because we've had a tremendous move now this market uh from uh, august through october was up 25 percent in just a couple of months we went from from 136 all the way up to uh one almost 157 that's a 25 percent move in two months tremendous move very quickly and then of course it gave up the gas then you'll notice here there's two things that marked on this chart. this is an old chart folks because i save these things because i think they have historical interest but if you'll remember that august the 15th of 2007 that was my first uh, radio show at tfnn and i happen to know that because i happened to be in las vegas for a money show and skype was out that day so I had to uh, do it by phone with Tom O'Brien, but that was it. Uh, we went to that move. We went up and made a new high. And at that day, on that day, on August the 15th, it was very important because the Dow was down, I believe, oh dear, I think it was down about 300 points, okay? And the NASDAQ was unchanged and the Russell was unchanged. 
And uh, away from there, you see, we just took off and we went up uh, a great deal. The reason why I'm bringing to your attention is these patterns repeat over and over again. So as we see them, there's two here that really need to be focused on. We might get a 20-man line here where you see the market comes down and where you see the 20-man line there. Basically what that is, that is nothing more than a 68% uh, retracement of the high from the November-December area, and it's 50% from the high in October. That's exactly what that was. That was a 20 minute line. But if you follow it down, you'll see from there we broke about 10 weeks straight down, and then we had a one, two, three, four, five, a six week rally. And when I mean week, folks, I'm not saying W E E K, I'm saying W E A K. That is a very weak rally. And the reason why, folks, that is a spot on 38% retracement. Now, who knows what's going to happen? But if you see this again, and I'll certainly be watching for it, when you see this again, when you have a big break and then a really shallow 3, 4, 2, 5, 12 week, whatever it happens to be, at the 382 retracement, boy, that's the one you really want to be on, folks, because you can see what happened after that. In 2007, uh, Tom Hugard, who I'd met in 2004, and I were very close. He was actually visiting me here uh, in Tucson during that time, and we were seeing this particular pattern here uh, in August and September. Of, uh, it was now 2008, and then it started to down, and uh, we we he was really pressing it. This is the one that made Tom uh, trader Tom because he pressed it and pressed it and pressed it, and uh, he got out sometime in, in early November, I believe. Then we we had the big three drive to a bottom pattern that finished on March the 5th of 2009, and uh, when I wrote the newsletter that week, I said this will be the biggest. Uh, short covering rally that the market has ever seen, even bigger than the one in 1938. Well, uh, it went from 68 to uh, I think the last one I saw, we were trading it around uh, 20, or excuse me, around 30, 43, uh, no, 44 and change, 44.30 or something like that. So that was a relatively big rally. But the pattern is what's important because they repeat over and over again. And that's the main thing that you want to be focusing on. I'm not looking at the astrology and stuff. I want to cover that when I get into the GAN stuff a little bit because I've had several in, in uh, what do you call inquiries about GAN over the past few days. And and I, I, I know a little bit about the man, his methodology. I tried to study it, but I'll get into that when we come back uh, from this sec this segment of the break, and then I'll go into that because I had I, when I went to when I went to work for Drexel in 1972. The first thing I did, not 72, 76. In 78, after I'd been there two years, I hired Jim Twentyman to come to be my uh, sidekick, uh, and uh, he worked with me for till I left, and then he went to work for Commodity Corporation as, as I went to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange to trade on the floor. But uh, anyway, the reason why I had Jim look at this is Jim was really in, he's really into numbers, like, you know, like most people like uh, cars and stuff, Jim likes numbers. And so he studied GAN very, very closely with Jerry Bombering over at the uh, uh, metaphysical no not metaphysical what was this? investment center bookstore by Don Mack that's where all the books were all the rare books were they had a little trading room there and that's where Jim uh, worked with uh, Jerry Bombering I'll cover that when we get back 877-927-6648 You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to get back to the GAN stuff a little bit because, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I think the best way I can serve you folks is to give you some of the experiences that I have over the years. One of those happens to be with the work of W.D. GAN. Uh, the, get, the GAN library was sold to uh, Billy Jones up in Pomeroy, Washington, to Lambert GAN Publishing. Uh, Mr. Lambert had rights to it, and that was all. It was two vans full of stuff. And it went up to Pomeroy, Washington. I took a plane up there uh, with Twentyman to see what was in there. And it was all kinds of papers that you could hardly make any sense out of. But it, I guess it was all pretty good. I, that I don't know because it was just very, very uh, uh, di difficult. It really was. Anyway, I uh, we had a, a customer at Drexel. Clay, I can't remember what his last name was. He was a private investigator. I got him as a customer through uh, Louis Bernstein, uh, the attorney that I worked with, with all the uh, with the actors and stuff. And uh, uh, Clay said he could check out. And so we checked out uh, things about W.D. Gann. Uh, we actually got a copy of his will. Uh, he died in West Palm Beach, Florida, I believe, 1954. He left an estate of a quarter of a million dollars, uh, which mostly in cash, but he also had a, a beautiful home, three-story home, uh, right on the water. And then he also had a, uh, a yacht called the Coffee Bean. So the estate was worth a little over a million dollars. When you hear stories of $55 million, a billion dollars, and all that stuff, that's totally baloney. That's not true. He had three kids. His daughter wouldn't speak to us, but we had, we had her number and he had two sons one was a dentist and living in new york and the other one was a uh, a, a bond broker living in i think he was in either i think he was in new jersey but uh, i spoke to both of those boys and uh, they told me their father was a workaholic he stood he went up to the third floor of the house never took vacations with the family or anything all he did was work had a few guests come in that he taught uh, stuff like that 
but uh, you know that was basically it. They said that they, you know they lived a very good life. They had great educations, had a nice life and everything. But their father was a he was a chain smoker, and he just he was basically a workaholic. And you see the amount of work that he did. You can see that's probably how it ended up. But the daughter did not care for the father at all, and she wouldn't even uh, speak to us at all. So th th that's the actual facts that I know. And uh, what happened was everybody was involved with Gann during the early 70s. And so I had 20 men. We actually paid him for six months. Drexel paid him to go over there at the Investment Center bookstore and study with Jerry Bomering and some of the other guys. Brad Cowan was one of them and a few others that were there that studied the Gann type stuff. And 20 men to this day... You know he, uh, you know he still looks looks at a few things here and there, but as far as again methodology, the only one that I've ever seen that's really successful at it is Jim Flanagan of GAN Educators out of Los Angeles, and uh, he does a pretty good job. But the other people that I've had come in contact with, it's it's just a hard methodology to look at, folks. Basically, I'm a simple old. Uh, you know, <laughs> simple little cowboy. Not, well, not even a cowboy. I'm an old farmer out of Terre Haute, Indiana, and I keep it as simple as possible, folks. Uh, I, I share these with you every day. Sometimes they mean anything. Sometimes they don't. But yesterday, we were talking about the trade we were in, which was the the uh, year uh, the uh, euro. And you notice here that, you know, it pulled back right to the ABCD. It rallied up uh, $900 and went right up to point D. And uh, we said, well, that's where you want to take profits. And the first thing you want to be doing is to look to see when the market backs off. And so what we did uh, in the newsletter, in the videos that we sent out last night, is we said is to look for the uh, pullback. And the pullback came in right at the uh, 116.20 level. We've now moved up about $300 from that level. So actually a little bit more than that. And uh, now that's in a free trade, and we have a potential for another ABCD pattern moving. And that's that's basically as simple as I can do it, folks. I don't use much astrology anymore. I rely on Shane Smolian and Tim Bost and Arch Crawford. Well, Arch is not uh, doing anything anymore. But um, – and, and we have Alfie Lavoie helps us, and occasionally Norm Winsky will come on. And so those are the ones that I, you know, look at the things that they have. But it basically comes down to what what am I looking at when I'm looking at this stuff? I mean, how much do I have to risk? Because that's that's the whole key of, of what I what I try to do is what's the risk involved, you know, uh, in doing this. So that's uh, basically what I'm looking at. Somebody asked me if I ever went to any of the Robin Hood functions with uh, uh, Paul Tudor Jones. The, this was the 20th anniversary. Uh, the second one that he did was the one that I was interested in, but I, I couldn't get there. But uh, there was a bid, from what I understand, uh, from California for a date with L. McPherson, and it was to go to with the C of J uh, New York Mets game and have dinner with L. McPherson. Well, I happen to know some crazy guy. I don't remember his last name. Uh, what was his first name? I don't even remember his first name. Anyway, he made a bid at $7,500. Well, it went for 28000 And I understand this uh, person that made the bid was very happy that the bid was uh, uh, not accepted. So I, I'll have to check on the records on who that was. But uh, that's neither here nor there. Now, let's take a look at uh, a stock that's in the news quite a bit. We were watching it last week. We'll get this up here and take a look at it. And here again... Uh, you know, I'm I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything negative about Elliott Wave or any of that stuff, because all the all that stuff will work if you if you if you look at it in the function of how much do I have to risk. Any of these things will work if you use in function of of a risk. How much do I have to risk? Look at Facebook when we were looking at it down here at 318, folks. We're now at 345 today or 340 something. I forget what it was, but we've made a 38 percent retracement in six trading days. Now that's a that's a you know better than a 10 percent move, and uh, that's a pretty good move for a stock in in a short period of time. But these are the same patterns that I try to look at. Looking at these names, uh, that no bow. I, well, you might be close, but I, <laughs> I maybe it was maybe it was that strange uh, that mask rider. I don't. I still 
I still beat my head, beat my head against the wall when I think about that. Anyway, let's uh, let's go on and uh, talk a little bit more uh, uh, about something that's really happening that is flat out important. Let me get this up here. I did a video last night on gold and silver, saying we really got to be really careful here because we got a chance here for silver and gold to break out after a pullback. Well. We pulled back a little bit, but yesterday's high in the silver was 24.18. We dropped 60 cents, folks. And then what we do today, we went up today. And we made a high of 24.27. 24.27. We took that high out by 10 cents, and the gold took the high out of the 61. So we could be looking at a major move coming in these. Now look what's happened to silver today. If you want to see volatility, after we hit. 24.27, the market dropped 35 cents. We went all the way down to 23.95, and guess what? We just made a new high on the day just a minute ago. So pay attention to silver and gold, folks. They could be ready to rock and roll. So let's, uh, we got to watch this one really closely because that, that could be the real sleeper in, in all of these things. Uh, we got a break coming up. When we get back, we're going to have Jim Bartolioni. And uh, as our guest, he's going to be talking to us about a few things, and I think you'll enjoy it very much. 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. 
For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, with a little bit of luck, I believe we had Jim Bart Bartoleone on the line. Larry, how are you, man? It's so great to hear you. Good to hear you, buddy. Living the dream. Bubba, I can't Absolutely. It's been almost 20 years since we met, wasn't it? Isn't it? How yeah, is JJ a, now? It, He's it, got a, it, It's been a while, my friend. And thank you so much for all your friendship and mentoring. Oh, um, man, we, oh yeah. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. fun. I think now, it's about how old time is JJ? Go ahead, Larry. Sorry. JJ's, JJ's about 17 now, isn't he? He's 16. He's a rising junior. He's uh, uh -huh. playing basketball. He's 6'5. It's oh crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Does, does, I, have a, <laughs> I have a question. I have a question, Bart. Does he wear number 50? He does not wear number fifty. No, I. That's a joke right between now. that. That was your that was your your father's number, wasn't it? When he played ball. It was. It was. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I remember that. Well, well, we've been doing this for a long time. I I knew it'd been <laughs> pretty close to twenty years, but we've been through a whole lot together, folks. I have to tell you, one of my greatest experiences with Bart was when we had a family member uh, that was getting married at Annapolis, and my had an uncle. My father's brother went there. My uncle Johnny, and uh, so Bart, being the gentleman that he is, set it up the whole weekend. We had the whole. I think we had twelve people there for the four days. And boy, we did a lot of lot of stuff, and we. The Billy Goat. What was the name of that Billy? Billy. What's the name of the Billy Bill. Goat? Bill. Bill yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. Bill the Goat. It's a it's a bronze big goat in front of the one of the dormitories, I believe. And all the girls, uh, they have to go up and uh, tickle his inners uh, to uh, to be uh, sworn <laughs> in as a uh, Navy girl or something like that. Isn't it a uh, groupie or whatever? It is. I don't, I don't know if they do that anymore, Larry. I don't oh, know no, if they no, do that no, anymore. Yeah, no, no, no. They can't do that anymore. They can't do that anymore. Hey, let's get down to business. People are throwing vegetables at me already. We're going to take a look here at this uh, banking, the NASDAQ banking index. What are you looking at here, Bart? Yeah, you know, Larry, um, it's as simple as AB equals CD. The big thing that I'm really keen in on is that, um, you know, if you look to the left side uh, of the chart, you got that blue measured move, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the that's the you know that's the move that's building the AB equals CD up at those higher levels. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, I like that's, ABCD. That's, Let's keep it as yes, simple sir. as possible. I, By golly. That's I, how you I, can me. I can I can there I tell them the story? Can I tell them the story about the dashboard on the F eighteen? Oh please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's, I got some pictures, folks, of the four guys and stuff. But on the dashboard of Bart's uh, F-18, F there's a red button. And under the button says, press this when you want to kill every SOB in sight. <laughs> Actually, you got a light, it put was, it out. Yeah, I, yeah, that's that's what I did anyway. But it, that was, what was it? That Was was that the rockets or something that uh, made that thing go? Or... That was for uh, air to air missiles, Larry. Um, oh, and the missiles. computer, wow. the computer would tell you everything's solved, and you get a red light. Wow, that's totally awesome! Holy yeah. cow, we got a question here. Uh, yeah. Did you out of? Did you ever fly out of Elmendorf Air Force Base? Someone's asking. I flew into it, uh, but I never, uh -huh. you know, flew out of it. Uh, I, I've stopped there a couple times. Okay, good. All right, let's take a look here at one that everybody's involved in, and that happens to be uh, Netflix. And we've got a oh, yeah. giant, giant ABCD here. Holy cow. This is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, what I'm trying to do, Larry, is we look for different inflection points. That, you know, I, I know we try to, you know, use them in isolation like you taught me, but at the same time, Netflix is such a huge market cap and such a huge, you know, uh, component of everything we're doing yeah. that if, if, right, it's a big if game, it's all probability, <laughs> if this target gets hit, and then condition, uh, at the same time, perhaps the banking index gets hit, right, then uh, we could be looking for a nice little correction. So I'm watching that level really close, and we're close. We're really close. And no, then you can thinks. see, too, just like you, like you taught me, there's also a 1.618 daily extension that, um, yeah. you know, is from the more, you know, the last all-time high. So 
We got yeah. a lot of math coming up in that area, so that'll be That's a really sure. interesting one to watch. I'm really yeah, speaking, one. yeah, speaking of 1.618, I was watching a video of you about a month ago with uh, J.C. Parrott, with the, where he had his uh, his T-shirt on. It said Mr. 1.618, and <laughs> I said, oh, I said, now I know where he got the 1.618, so I called him up and uh, and asked him. And then he came on the show, and he, boy, what a, what a smart young fellow he is. He's oh, really he's great. JC, yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah we're going to have now, him. Larry, yeah. I don't know if you knew. But uh, he's also a wine sommelier. He went through the whole thing, and he's like a certified really? you know, wine expert. He actually pl- uh, planted and he's harvesting his first ever um, grapes for his wine. And so uh-huh. I'm working with him, and we're trying to come up with a bottle design that will uh-huh. incorporate all the Fibonacci stuff. So it's kind of fun. So. I'll be, I'll be sure I get you a couple bottles, all right? Hey, listen, I got a great name for your red wine, buddy. What? De, Dago Red. Dago Red. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. Folks, uh, the, the D-E-G-O, Dago, is an old slang word from uh, the, uh, the old Bowery back in the uh, 1900s. When the Italians come in, the people would say, oh, there they go. And so that's how they became Dagos. And if it, there's the guy down in California. He actually he actually uh, uh, patented that name, Dago Red, made a fortune off of it. So I remember uh, listening to it for during the 80s, 85, 86, 87, when I used to hang out at his winery. Hey, Bart, let's talk oh, here a little there. bit about this Japanese yen because I really uh, like this chart. Let's get this up here. Bet. You bet. Go ahead. And, and Larry, right. I was just thinking while you were talking, you need to go on yes. Jeopardy. You need to go on Jeopardy. Oh, I couldn't answer any questions. I'm not that smart. <laughs> You're like a walking yeah. encyclopedia of great facts. No, well, no. You put you put a chart up in front of me. I can talk. The rest of the stuff is <laughs> it's not a not a that's not a done deal. Let me tell oh you. man, Larry, I think it's time we go for a Chinese lunch in the Bronx, don't you? Oh <laughs> God. Folks, we, we had a we had a business meeting there. I, mean, I think we mentioned that on the air once, but we had a business oh meeting. Chinese group. They had twelve zeros on the account, folks. Three <laughs> billion dollars. Three billion dollars. And they were looking for a home for it. And what did they do? They picked somebody else, and somebody else just happened to move the money offshore, and they never saw it again. And uh, oh my god, yeah, yeah. yeah so I'll was, never forget it, Larry, sad. my friend and yeah. mentor. He said, "Bart, that's a lot of zeros." <laughs> yeah, it sure was. Yeah, it was. I'd never seen never seen an account that big before, other than Sarah's, and she doesn't let me see it much anymore. So, <laughs> hey, let, Tell hey, Sarah I said hi too. Yeah, I will. She's out for her walk, her, her morning walk, and then she has an afternoon walk and an evening walk. She stays away from me most of the time these days. Listen, this is one of the key currencies, folks. This is a dollar yeah. versus. What are you looking at here? Yeah, you know, Larry, this is a huge one, and I've been waiting on it. I really have, right? Um, that move way down at 72. In fact, uh, for an old-time you know, story, uh, I tried to go long the dollar versus the yen right around 72 or 73 uh, mm-hmm. multiple times. It was the first drawdown I ever had, so that was kind of a uh-huh. bummer. But, both, but basically, this thing's been consolidating for seven years, and yeah. I don't know if it's broken out yet. My, you know, air quote, hope is that it hasn't. Um, and that, you know, as from an Elliott Wave perspective, it's a classic triangle. It's a multi-year triangle. It's a continuation pattern. And boy, if we can, you know, hold in and around these levels here and go down, um, this could be the buy of a decade because the dollar is yeah. getting ready to explode. Hey, Bart, stay with us a little bit for about, about two more minutes so you can tell the folks how they can look at your YouTube stuff that you have, okay? Sure. Yeah, you bet, Larry. We'll be right back, folks. Jim Bartleone, we'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and we have Jim Bartolioni as our guest today. Jim, we want to tell the folks how they could see some of the things that you have in Bart's charts. You, I think they'd like you, to see that. You bet, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Yeah, so I'm, I've got a, a blog that I do. Uh, I, I try to update it, you know, once a week, every two weeks. I'm more of a long-term uh, investor, so dailies, weeklies, and monthlies. But, uh, yeah, www.bartscharts.com. And um, there you'll see most everything that I've posted and some of the interviews I've done with J.C., and you and uh, presentations. So it's just so great to be in touch, Larry. Thank you. You bet. We'll have you on again in a few weeks. Okay, buddy? You got it, Larry. Be good. Best to Sarah and the grandkids. You bet. Say hi to the family right, for me, you. too. How many, grand, how many grandkids you have now? I got three and one on the way. Oh, brother. <laughs> We're oh, getting man. young, We're, Larry. Oh, <laughs> tell me about it. I can I can see the I can see the the ninth furlong pole already. <laughs> You're awesome, okay, Larry. Buddy. Thank you for everything. Yeah, you bet. Thank you, Bart. Cheers. All right, folks. Bye -bye. You bet. Uh, Jim Bartolioni, folks, uh, old time friend. Let's uh, take a quick look here at one of these other markets. Folks, silver's flat out breaking out. Uh, we just saw a price, a price up here at 2440. That that really means that this is a major breakout in silver. Now, I don't I don't buy breakout. Gold hasn't broken out yet, but I'm sure it's right behind. But take a look here. You'll see here we've broken out now. We're, we have uh, broke through that 78 cent level. We hit it this morning. We broke through it. Then we backed off 30 cents, and then we went 50 cents higher. Now, that is a flat-out 
that's a that's a breakout. I mean, that that to me is a major breakout. I'm going to double check all the ABCDs in it and stuff, but I do just I just don't do very good. Not do very good. This is the understatement here. I don't buy breakouts, folks. I rather write my checks directly into the Chicago Mercantile Exchange and save the exchange fees as opposed to uh, to do that. So let's just go back and talk about a couple of markets here. Uh, because I think they're important. One that we've been talking about, which is the natural gas. If you'll notice here, we've been following this. Uh, yesterday, we showed everybody that we were down at that 1.618 level down there at the uh, the uh, 480, uh, 482 level. Uh, we had a pretty good rally. Uh, and then what we did today was really interesting because what we were watching, and this is what's, what's really fun to watch, is that we were watching it in conjunction with, with the uh, with the AI and all I was doing this AI you can figure it out yourself I, I teach you how to do the formula uh, when I'm going to do my next show which will be November the 10th and Tommy the trader who guard is going to be joining me and we're going to have a lot of fun that day five hours of live trading to make money and do a little teaching have some fun but here's what I was looking at this morning is that you know and I, I have a pretty good a rough idea of where I think that low is going to be based on what's happening over the past three or four days if you learn how to do the statistics behind it but you can see the abcd pattern and i said look for a three drive pattern around nine o'clock well it came in at 9 12 and the price that i was looking at the bottom here was 90 94 94 and it came in at 492 and i had a high today of 513 already so that's a that's a huge move now they don't always work that way but if you did the just did a simple fibonacci calculation of the last day's range 492 happened to be the 61 percent retreat Basement, off of the low of 482 to the high up at 427 and then back down to the uh, 497 level so that that's why it all comes together and and it's not hard to do folks this is not trying to find out where the moon's in conjunction with mars or any of that stuff i'm keeping it as simple as possible and uh, that's that's really i don't use oscillators or anything like that and i i probably could and maybe it would make it better you know i i don't know if if i can do that or not because i've been doing it for so long and I've trained so many people. You look at Bart. I mean, he, what, do you, what do you start the show with? If A, B equals C, D? I paid him $20 to say that, but he still did it. But look look at this chart here. This has got a lot of great stuff. This comes from one of our folks out in uh, out in New Jersey. Let's take a – you'll see a quick sh a shot of this here. I think I got it right here. Yeah, here it is. And this happens to be the uh, dollar yen again. And you'll notice here there's uh, a really nice uh, – uh, pattern of uh you know what's really uh, what's really happening there so it's got you know it's got volume and other things and, and if, if you can make it work that's fine I, I i keep it as simple as possible and and i and i the only thing that's the only thing that scares me when i do this folks are two things one is really wide ranging bars i mean one that is just like four or five to three three to five times out of normal say the the average bar in the s p is around five points okay over a 15 minute period so if you see one that's 20 or 25 bars uh, you know that there's some something has happened so you've got to be really careful of that so that's uh that's the primary thing to to watch so those are the danger signals that you want to be looking at but if you get those out of the way then that that's that's really what you're that's really what you're what you're trying to do it's it's no more no more simple than that now here here's a chart of the uh this is the FTSE. now all this is is a 15 minute chart we're going to look at this one and you can see here that you know we didn't go crazy on the FTSE and some of these others you see they didn't make new highs and you now look you are heading down we've got an abcd forecast down here now this is a 15 minute chart but for trading purposes you can use that and that's really what you uh, want to uh, Okay, let's move on here to a couple other things uh, of what we're paying attention to here today. Uh, where is the other one? Here it is right here. Uh-oh, this is it. Just give me a second. It happens to be the German DAX. We're seeing the German DAX and the FTSE look almost identical on the 15-minute 15 15 minute chart, and they probably should because they're, you know, they're uh, basically the, the, the uh, 
German index and the DAX are very, very close, uh, both physically and uh, I, I don't know. I know they're not even related as far as stocks and stuff like that, but the physical uh, place of where they live is, is Europe. So maybe that's the reason being behind it. But the DAX trades much, much better than the FTSE. I've never traded the FTSE. I've looked at it and I said I have no interest in it because it doesn't really give me the thing that I'm interested in, which is simplicity over complexity. And that's it. Now, folks, we're having a big emotional thing here with the uh, uh, 67,000 now in the uh, uh, Bitcoin, so we have to pay very, very close attention to it. Let's hold on here. Maybe we have a question here for a case study. How? how uh, okay, Mr. Z is asking, where do I see a low risk buy? in the gold on an hourly chart. Uh, Mr. Z, we've only got a minute to do that, but let's do it while we're on the air for you, buddy, because you are what we call in the trade a preferred customer. Look at this thing's going here. Yeah, we just hit the uh, 1.618 expansion in the silver at uh, 2444. And here's the here's the gold. Fact is, I already I already drew it in, but I didn't take the trade because I was well. I wouldn't have taken it anyway. But let's get this up here. Let me draw the line in. Otherwise, you you won't be able to see what I'm looking at. Uh, there's it right here. So you'll be able to get this up here. Hold on. I hope this helps. Hopes this helps, Mr. Z. But uh, uh, I think this is it. Let's hope it is. I hope that's it. You'll see. We went up and we made that. We took out the high of the of the. We went up to the 61% retracement there at uh, 1789. Okay, so it hasn't broken out at all, but but silver has. In fact, is the reason why I can't buy the gold here, Z, and I'll show you why just by just by looking at it uh, with a little bit a little bit more data, you'll see here where we're going to go to, and I'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. 
Your investment is secured by high value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and I have to make an announcement here. We've got one of our dear friends here at TFNN uh, hanging on by his last legs. I just posted it into the den here. It's the treasury bond market, folks. This market is <laughs> – they just haven't got the final funeral arrangements made yet. But you can see here the last little rally we had was nothing more than a two-day 382. This is looking extremely bearish. Anything below 157 now sets up at least 152 uh, in the bonds. Interest rates are going higher. They're not going to lower. So if you got to finance your house now or you're interested in buying a house, get your mortgage lined up because it's going to be higher. I don't know how high, but all I know is these things are going higher. The, the figment of the imagination of negative interest rates has now been put to sleep and uh, they're looking at something a little bit differently. Okay, that's the main thing what we're paying attention to. Tomorrow we're going to have Rich Anderson on the show to talk to us about the Bitcoin futures and what they're doing and what they mean and everything. I just noticed that we just uh, went above the 1.618 expansion here in the uh, Bitcoin futures up there, and so that's a, a very positive sign. Uh, so let's uh, remind ourselves that these things go up and down, and they do it in ABCD format. That's the important thing to remember here. I'll try to bring some of the other stories that I have of my market experiences to you guys, because that's probably, you know, I know you get tired of watching these little ABCDs and all this other stuff that, you know, a third grader can do. And by the way, do you know that I was contacted by the Veterans Administration to teach a, uh, a war veteran? He wanted to be a trader. And uh, they were they were willing to uh, they were willing to pay me, and I went through a whole thing of talking to the people and everything, and I made I made one stupid mistake, and that says, hey, I'm not going to charge a, you know, a veteran that you know guy's a war hero that lost uh, you know a leg and an arm. I said there's no way that I'm going to charge that guy. So what do they do? They never contact me again, and the guy hasn't contacted me either. But anybody that's a veteran like that, I'm not going to charge them to teach because I. Uh, uh, you know, I could change their life a little bit. You know, maybe, you know, it's not everybody. Good. Hey, we'll see you tomorrow on the flip side, boys and girls. May God bless. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude.